Le Chatelier's principle. Remember our example on equilibrium attained on an escalator? You are going up on an escalator, which is coming down at same speed. Thus, you appear to be a fixed point on the escalator. Suppose your mischievous friends decide to increase the speed of the escalator. In order for you to still remain at the same point, you will have to increase your speed to match the speed of escalator and attain the dynamic equilibrium again. Le Chatelier, a French chemist, first noticed this phenomenon of restoring balance in chemical reactions. He observed that a system always acts to oppose changes in chemical equilibrium. If stress is placed on a system at equilibrium, the system will proceed in the direction that maximizes the stress and helps in restoring equilibrium. Stress can be applied on a chemical reaction by changing concentration, temperature, or pressure. Concentration can be changed by adding reactants or products to a reaction. If you add reactants, the system will start creating more products to reduce concentration of reaction and restore equilibrium. If you add products, the backward reaction will start occurring at faster rate to reduce concentration of products and restore equilibrium. For example, two different colored cobalt complex ions CO H two O six two plus and COC four two minus exist together in equilibrium in an aqueous solution in the presence of chloride ions. This equilibrium can be distributed by changing the chloride ion concentration or changing temperature. If you increase concentration of chloride ions by adding more HCl, more products will be formed and solution will turn blue. If you add more water, reaction moves backwards and solution turns pink. Temperature impacts an equilibrium on basis of the direction of endothermic and exothermic reactions. If temperature is increased, system will move in the direction which absorbs heat, thus favoring endothermic reaction. If temperature is decreased, system will move in the direction which releases heat, thus favoring exothermic reaction. In our above example of cobalt 2 ions, forward reaction is endothermic and backward reaction is exothermic. If you increase temperature, forward reaction occurs more rapidly to absorb the heat and solution turns blue. However, if you decrease temperature, reaction moves backwards, turning the solution pink. Finally, for gases, we can also induce stress by applying pressure. Increasing pressure on system at equilibrium forces it to move in the direction with less number of molecules. For example, in the process of creation of ammonia gas, one molecule of nitrogen gas combines with three molecules of hydrogen gas to form two molecules of ammonia. Here, number of molecules of reactants are four, while number of product molecules are two. Thus, if you apply pressure, system will create more ammonia, reducing the number of molecules. And if you release pressure, backward reaction will be favored. There are certain non-factors which, if introduced in a system at equilibrium, have catalysts, have no impact on equilibrium because they impact both forward as well as backward reactions equally. Similarly, inert gases also have no impact on equilibrium. That's all you need to know about chemical equilibrium. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.